Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome to I Want to Blow My Brains Out by Selfish Dream. I'm gonna put up some obvious trigger warnings on the screen right now. If you are not comfortable with viewing um, content with these type of topics, then please click away now. Um, should you find yourself in a situation where you would like to find some help with your mental state, then please check down below in the description. I have left some links that may prove helpful. So. Without further ado, let's get to it. I know nothing else about this game, except for the screen I'm seeing in front of me right now. Oh dear, oh, okay, don't touch that. Don't fiddle with the organs. Can I, can I do something else? Oh dear. That is Morse code. I think. Maybe I'll put up a translation of that uh, if I can find out what it is. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I don't, I don't know. Okay, just keep messing with that, I guess. Never good enough. Oh my. I can't tell if the message is changing. I don't think so. Never satisfied. Oh dear. Always alone. Yes, the message is definitely changing. God, I wish I could tell what it says right here. This is an odd game. Oh dear, numbers. Confusing numbers. I'm not sure if that's a code or anything. I play a lot of these games, at least I used to play a lot of these, because I find it important to make um, suicide and depression and mental illness something that should be discussable and something that should be in video games, should be that something that should be able to be expressed and talked about. Um, and even though I don't always agree with the imagery or the messages of the games, I do still want to play them because just because I don't entirely agree with their experience that doesn't mean that it's not, you know, legitimate or that doesn't mean that it's not something that is worth talking about. Okay, I guess I just keep clicking. I'm just looking around for other things to do, but I I don't find it. Unable to connect. Oh my. I think these splashes are things that a lot of people um, can relate to. Unable to feel. Because that's what it does. That's what it, depression is mainly about. At least in, in my experience, you just go kind of limp, go kind of numb. Are you human? Or are we dancers? Oh god. This is... Yeah, this is not... Is this real? No, no, it's not. This is not real. I am 100% certain that this is not, in fact, real. Do you feel? Uh, I feel like I want to get out of here. That's what I feel. Is it worth it? Does it even matter? What, what, what? I, I can barely turn. Like, I can- I have a limited view. I'm not sure if that is intentional, but if it is, that is a pretty good move in my opinion, actually. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a bit overwhelmed. I don't know how to describe it very, uh, clearly. I just want to kind of experience the game for what it is. Before I draw any conclusions. I don't know, do I go towards the dots? I don't think it matters where I stand here. Hello? Is this gonna do something? Just too hard. Things are just too hard. 
I feel like a lot of these games use static, and I think that that's a very apt description. It kind of feels like static. I'm, I'm seeing shapes in this. Is that... Are you seeing shapes in this too? Oh dear. Oh, am I still walking? Oh, right, I am. Okay. Okay, that, that one, I guess. I, I have limited view again. Like, I, I can only turn my camera so far. So I can't really see what's behind me. And I don't know if that limited perspective, again, I don't know if that is supposed to be symbolism. Because th there was not a lot in the description of this game either. And that, that made me kind of curious, honestly. Everything is so meaningless. There, another one. Yeah, see, so you ju have just enough perspective, uh, just enough of a frame to see the next point. Okay, here we almost are. Tell me. Do I have to do this? Or I have to do this? Um. There, right there. I see you. This needs to end. Pull the trigger. No, I'm not. Fuck you. Okay, I do something. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the cutscene. What do I do? Do I cut my way out? Get out of here. Why did you do this? This game kind of reminds me a little bit of the Static Speaks My Name. I don't believe I ever made a video off of that game. Why did you do this? What a poor creature. Just another statistic. Yeah, that is kind of um Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt anything. I it's just another statistic. That is such a sad part of every single time that you read or you hear about somebody who has taken their own life. It, it is just so cruel. How... Oh God, I find it's really hard to explain, but it's, it's very cruel that everything else just kind of keeps moving. And to realize that that's what they wanted, that they wanted the world to go on without them, that kind of feeling is just... It's kind of terrifying, and it's sad. I'm sorry if I'm kind of rambling in this video right here. It's, it's a difficult topic to talk about. Selfish son of a bitch. Yeah, that's an another one. You know, people will often refer to people who commit suicide as selfish. And I, I understand that. I used to feel um, the same way. But at the same time, I feel that it's a little bit unfair to call them selfish. I don't know if it's an accurate description. Let me put it like that. Because the thing is... And, and this is different for everybody, but there's often the conviction that people will be better off without you. It's often the idea that you are holding people back and that on the long run it would be better if you were just gone. And even though those feelings can be 100% wrong, it is often the overwhelming thought that pushes someone to it. It's often in a moment of panic or 
a moment of anxiety to the point where thinking clearly is just not a thing anymore. And don't, you know, don't mistake me for an expert by any means. I, I don't. I mean, I've had people in my environment. Um, I, I have a basic understanding of depression. Um, I have some experience myself with depression. And, you know, don't mistake me for an expert on this by any means. I'm just talking what I, I'm just talking about what I feel when I see this imagery. It's better you disappeared. See, that's what I mean. That's that's what I'm talking about. This kind of mindset that just kind of consumes your head. I want to blow my brains out. Do you even care? I want to blow my brains out. Do you even care? And it just keeps repeating. And I just let me just answer that. I do care. And I know that sounds very, um, well, meaningless coming from a complete stranger on the internet, but... Oh, oh, damn. It, um, okay, it just crashed. I think it just ended. If I'm correct, you are seeing... Yes, you are. You're currently seeing what I'm seeing right now. So this is, this was the game. There's not a lot in the description uh, right here. Uh, there's a little reaction here. I hope the inspiration for this game did come from your personal experience. The art of this game is not bad at all, but I rather like games that make me happy and not suicidal. I mean, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> yeah, I, that's an understandable reaction. Um, uh, yeah, it was made by Selfish Dream. I, I really do sincerely hope it doesn't come from uh, personal experience. And if it does come from personal experience, I hope that it is a means for you to express yourself and to to get it out of your head, you know? Because people often get criticized for making things that are controversial, making things that are crude and cruel and, and kind of shocking imagery. But I don't think we should do that. I, th I think it is important to be able to express yourself and to be able to sometimes explore that dark side of yourself because if you don't, then it just stays in there. Um, I don't want to ramble on too much about this game because we I've done that in the past and you know you know my uh, take on it. You know, if you feel that you are in a bad situation right now, if you are mentally... Um, blocked by either disease or by illness or by uh, experiences that you've had in your life that are damaging you still, then please just get the help. That is the only one thing that you can do in many of these situations. Um, and I believe you should be doing it. I, I believe that it is important to, uh, when you're ready, to take the chances that you do have. I understand that making these type of decisions to get the help that you want and finding help, it is not something that happens overnight. That's the same with me. You know, just because I found um, some help, I actually, let me just tell you what I did. I, um, for a long time, I felt really stressed out. There was a lot of stuff going on in my life and the stress contributed to a sensation that I had already experienced before. It was something that was recurring in my life and it was just this perpetual um, negative feeling that dragged me down. And that is just something I kind of lived with until that very stressful period in time where it kind of escalated. Now, I didn't do anything weird. I didn't, ha I didn't attempt suicide. I am not suicidal. I want to make very, very clear that I am not suicidal. Um, but then I make the decision to get help even after you know people told me no even after i felt that it wouldn't help i just decided to call up my doctor and explain the situation to him and he said yeah you know it's that's a perfectly legitimate complaint what you're telling me right now the feeling down permanently or persistently that is a physical problem and uh, i'm glad that you called so i did and i went over and uh, i talked with my doctor a little bit more and she said uh, she referred me to a psychologist 
And that's what I'm doing now, basically. I am talking to that psychologist. And did it solve any of my problems yet? No, it did not. It, it's not something that happens overnight. But for me, it was a very relieving experience to know that something was happening, that I was at least trying to get somewhere. And that, that, that to me alone was a very uh, big relief. And I don't know. I don't know where I'm going right now. And I guess I'll see. So um, that's my experience with it. I, I don't know if it applies to you. Um, about the game, by the way, um, I can't really say much about the gameplay because there wasn't a whole lot of gameplay. It was mostly just a short experience. Um, the imagery of what I assume is this person's experience with depression uh, and suicidal thoughts. I just want to uh, make the remark that I, I liked some of the imagery, but I don't agree with every single bit of it. You know, uh, it's, it's often a bit... Um, oh, okay, hold on, I'm rambling right now. <laughs> um, oh, shit. You know, with a lot of these games that I play, I don't always um, post everything I record. Because if it's a topic like this, I do feel like it's important to um, show you something that you can do something with. You know, I want these games to have a point, whether that point is expression or whether the point is motivation, motivating you to get help. It, it doesn't have to be have a moral necessarily, but I do want it to have a point. And some games are solely made just for shock value. Just because people know that this gets the downloads and this gets the views. And that's not the feeling that I had with this game. I feel that this is a genuine message. Um, unfortunately, a sad message, but it seems genuine to me. Um... I think that's all I can say about the game for now. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will leave a link down in the description to uh, so you can play the game for yourself if you want to. Um, and if you feel down, again, I have left some helpful links down in the description. That's the only thing I can say. If, if you feel like you are being held back by your own stupid brain, then by all means, just try and get some help. Try and, you know, take baby steps if you need to. But you don't have to feel this way. Okay, well, that was, was kind of a difficult topic, so I find it hard to end this video. But I'm going to do it right now. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!